is Chris here with Dot Product demonstrating the DP to DP alignment procedure within the free point cloud tool Cloud Compare. The first step here is to import my .dp file. So I'll go to File Open and select two overlapping DP files from my DPI 8 kit and click Open. If you run into any trouble importing or exporting DP files, please make sure you're running the latest version of Cloud Compare, currently 2.7.0. You can always upgrade at cloudcompare.org for free. So here come my files, obviously not aligned yet. First thing I want to do is merge them though. So I click on frame one in this first file and hold shift, scroll down to the last frame 157 and select all that way. Now I click this blue and red button to merge multiple clouds. And what this does is it combines all of those frames into a single point cloud file within Cloud Compare. You should do this every time you use DP files in Cloud Compare. It'll make everything faster and easier. Uh, within the program. So now I did it for the first file, I'm going to do it again for the second. So click frame one and then hold shift and scroll all the way down until I get to the bottom file, in this case frame 158. And then I again hit that blue and red merge button to combine all of those frames into a single file within the project. Depending on the capabilities of your machine and the size of your files, you may have to be patient through some of the steps of this tutorial. So now that the merge is completed, I'll see two single frames on the left side of my screen here instead of 157 for each file, and everything will operate a lot faster. So I'm going to zoom in, take a look at my data. It's obviously not aligned whatsoever right now, but I can take a view at the area that overlaps, which is this door frame area here, and some of the different points I can pick for my point picking alignment. So it can be a target center like I just zoomed in on, or any known point that overlaps between both scans, such as a corner point or anything recognizable in both scans. So to start this alignment, I want to click on each of the frames on the left here, hold control to select both. And now I've opened up the button to start my alignment, which is green and red here. So I click on that to align two clouds by picking at least four equivalent points. Now this window pops up, which allows me to decide which frame I want to be my reference and which one I want to be the aligned frame. So the reference frame will remain stationary while the aligned frame will be rotated and translated to complete the alignment. I'm perfectly fine with this as is, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So now we've moved into the alignment phase. Uh, this window here, you can turn on and off each of your frames of data. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the align cloud, showing only the reference cloud. You can do this in either order. And now I'm going to go through and select four unique points on each data set in a planned order. I have to do them in the same order for each file. So the first one will be this target on the floor here. So I'm going to zoom in and click the exact center point, And that'll be my R0, my first point. And I'm going to do the same for my second point, R1, and the same for my third point, R2. So now I've selected my first three. I'm just going to rotate and translate over to this other target corner here where I can select my fourth point, R3. So now that I've selected all four points on my reference cloud, I'm going to switch and show only the align cloud and then select the same exact four points in the same order. So first the target on the floor, A0, then A1, then I need to move around to face the wall here where I can select my third target, which will be designated A2, and then again rotate around to the tabletop, which is my fourth target, a3 on the corner there. So now I've selected the same four targets in both scans and I can just look around to verify that everything looks the way it should. So then I go over to the right side here and click align. And just like that you should see your data snap into place. Uh, you want to double check and make sure everything looks aligned and that everything has uh, processed the way you expected it to. So I'm going to pan around here. You'll now see that the two rooms are on the same level um, and the door frame aligned properly based on those four points that I've picked. So now I'm going to click on that green check box on the right side and then hit OK to process my alignment. And there we have it. Our align scan can now be rotated around and viewed uh, within Cloud Compare. Lastly, before I save out my align scan, I want to again merge these two frames of data similar to what I did at the beginning of the tutorial. So if I scroll over to the left here, I want to make sure I've selected both frames and then click on this blue and red merge multiple clouds button yet again. 
and this is going to process them into a single frame as you see here on the left and I have completed the process of alignment. Um, the last step here is to save my DP file. So I click on the File Save button in the top left, and you have several options of how you want to save the file out. As you see here, I am gonna save it this time back into a DP file, and then you can name your file whatever you want, of course, and hit Save. And that completes the tutorial on aligning two dot product point clouds within Cloud Compare version 2.7.0 and then resaving them back into .dp format. If you have any additional questions, please visit us at www.dotproduct3d.com or please contact us at support at .dotproduct3d.com.